doesn't look like it, but it all comes together, trust me. And right there. For those who didn't know, I'm a real cheapskate. I love getting things either for free or for a very inexpensive price. The perfect place for cheapskates like me is the beautiful store of Target. I mean, come on, who doesn't know what Target is? I was in the toy section of Target, and I saw this little guy right here hanging around. It was in the very back of the shelving. It was a pretty big find I kind of digged, and I've never seen such a thing before. This is the world's smallest Rubik's Cube, at least this is what they claim. I've been actually waiting and anticipating to unbox this for a very long time, for a day. 24 hours. So, let's unbox this. Also to let you guys know, I will be putting a little nugget of Dory in the video, and you will have to find her. If you can find her and tell me where you found her in the video, I will give you a shout out. And I will most likely forget, but I will try my best. If you can find her and tell me where in the video you saw her, I'll give you a special nugget. Honestly, I have no idea. This might be a limited edition item, and I am ripping it pretty, pretty horribly. So, hey, I'm American. American pride. Alright, we're gonna let it rip in three. Two, one. Nice. Yes! I think I got a sticker. Oh, that's the thing, I pierced it. Crap! Why do I have to do that? Come on. I hate myself. This looks like a regular Rubik's Cube. Like, from this view, it looks like how I would view this, you know what I mean? This looks like a legit size, but when I put my finger, you can see how seriously small it is. Very harsh turning. Now, of course, this is not a speed cube at all, but this is like a collector's item. This is very, very cool. This is very unique. This is not a fidget toy. This is actually a puzzle cube. So this is more sophisticated. This is better, okay? But yeah, for $5, honestly, I think this is worth the money. Last but not least, let's mix this thing up and then solve it from there. Alrighty, so it is mixed up. At least it's mixed up enough. So, why don't we solve this? Right there. Yeah, we did it, guys. Actually, honestly, after using it for a while, it kind of let up a little bit, and it's actually a little bit easier to turn, I'm gonna be honest with you. So, these are all the other cubes I personally own. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. This one is actually, like, I haven't figured out how to solve this one. For those who didn't know, I am personally a cuber. I'm not a professional cuber, but I, I love cubing. Rubik's Cubes can just keep me entertained left and right, day and night, up and down, from my cerebral cortex to my gluteus. The only problem about these Rubik's Cubes is that you can't really fit them in your pocket, and they can tend to get loud and noisy. I think that this would be absolutely perfect. You can literally just put this in the palm of your hand. I think that this would be very convenient. However, it's not really designed for professional cubing. Especially to those who are new to this channel, if you like this content, please click that subscribe button because there's plenty more fun videos like this coming up in the future. For those who aren't new, I would appreciate it if you could like, comment, and share this video to other people. Once again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video, so thanks for tuning in to your boy.